right, remember at U1, we are chopping the clock when the ball is legally touched by a jumper, when we had a jump ball. I'm sorry. And we want to make sure we're finding the free throw line extended for our initial positioning at C. Start there, and then we're going to work one step one way or the other. See, when you work your next half, and we'll talk about this when we get into the room, but I want you to try to get a little more aggressive at trail, meaning um, work a little bit lower and kind of involve your perspective in the play more often when we're in the front court. You can see right here, you kind of stop maybe three steps into the front court. I think you can get a little more aggressive. rotation here it looks like both Casey and Brandon missed it what can we do to fix this not Casey sorry Jared Casey just fixed it <laughs> And the last thing I was saying about Casey at Trail, I meant about you, Jared, right here where you're at Trail. Casey, remind me to, well, I guess this will serve as a reminder for us to talk about lanes one, two, and three when you're coming up the floor in the backcourt at Trail. Um, we'll talk about that and I'll show you all on the screen if you haven't heard of it.
rotation here. Let's see if... Nice job, Casey. Getting Jared's attention. Jared's got it. All right, now we got a different look for the crew. Brandon, make sure we're mirroring on successful three-point tries. And also, we want to av avoid backpedaling down the court in any position. Timeout blue. Remember, with our timeouts, we're going to put our hand up, stop the clock, point to the bench, and then report the timeout just like that. I like this closed down position here, Brandon. You're in a really good spot with that ball location. Let's keep keep doing that, keep utilizing that closed down position. Yeah, oh my god. We got a nice four back. Yeah, he sure did. He sure did. That, like, that was good. Back that someone some adult. Stop that that way. Jared, this is a really good position for trail right here. But if that matchup goes down, I like this adjust. This is good. Now here's where you get. Well, if that shot doesn't go up, that's where you would kind of leak down. Get a little more sideline oriented, get a little lower. Can you do this so I can get the Who's the home team? Uh, the single down to the home team. Yellow. What's our team name? That was ugly, not a travel. Maybe you can flash him by the table. Pre and post shot.
right, yeah, so this is a good opportunity right here, Jared, for you to get outside that matchup, work toward the sideline, and see up through it at trail. Same thing goes for you here, Brandon. You want to work more toward that sideline, stay away from that center circle in this situation. That was a good adjust right there. Was interesting we'll talk about that um, everybody's where they need to be right now but yeah I think I like that Casey, I think it's good for you to probably use your voice there a little bit on any held ball. Just come in and say it's a held ball or a jump ball. Get that whistle out of the mouth and use the voice a little bit. What number? What number? There you go. I'm going back out. He called a hit. I'm blue. I'm just trying to figure out what the call I think he like, he's like charged. He's like. You okay? So when we administer that throw in, um, let's make sure we're on the outside of the player. I'll show you what that looks like on the film. And with administering that throw in, we want anything above the free throw line extended. We want the trail administering that on the sideline. That way lead can be in position on the end line uh, before we even start that play. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. I, I, I have to open a whole box. I can't just go one. That's a good good position adjust right there, Brandon. I say even go lower, but that is a really good position adjust. Bridget, could you actually get me more water? Please. Nice, good recognition. That's how we do that right there, fellas. Nice job. Yeah, it's because you're GA, you can't afford it. <laughs> exactly. 
Mission Fortress. It's literally the only That was probably a foul. We'll look at that. That's impressive, but what kind of car do you have? I don't know, Chevy. What's the Kelly Blue Book on that bad boy? <laughs> so, what's the Kelly Blue Book on that bad boy? I'll tell you why I looked it up. Not very much because I bought it at 5,000. How long you had it? In high school. Oh. Oh, yeah. She's down there under two grand. <laughs> What's the resale value on that? What's Kelly Blue Book on your eBay? <laughs> Come on, Alex, I've used it. What's your eBay price on your <laughs> yeah, What's the depreciation rate? <laughs> Does it have a shelf life? I think that's a good get. Jared, the way we could probably see that play a little bit better is if um, you're a little bit more closed down. Stop the clock. Six seconds? We will get it. <laughs> I'm fixing it. Please chill out. Yeah, just, we're good, man. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, Jared, what I was saying was the way we could see that play a little better is if you're a little bit more closed down because that would give you an angle that um, you can see the space between the defender and the shooter a lot better there. But good help there, Casey. That's a fun play. That could be a violation. Especially on this guy. That's also a violation right there. That's a foul. That's a foul. That's a foul on blue 24. I think the only person who could have seen that was probably Casey who had my angle. Easy one to pass on. Probably a foul. That was ugly, but not a travel. All right, so though 